When I, when I talk about how I got started in this, it's, it's actually very similar. I was an avid Engadget reader long before I was an Engadget writer. And so while I was still at university, I was very passionate about technology. Engadget just happened to be a publication that wrote about technology. So I gravitated towards that and read that daily. And it was because I read that daily that I saw a job posting that showed up one day. If I hadn't been an avid daily reader, you would never see this because they don't put these things on Monster or anywhere else. If you're a reader of the site, you catch it. If not, you missed out. So I happened to see this job request. And so I sent in my writing samples. Again, no resume required. It was, the, the requirements were, do you love this material? And are you willing to learn how to absorb our tone and style and write about it to our audience? That was the requirement. And I said, well, I've never taken a, a writing class in college, but I think I love this enough to do it. So I submitted a sample. Months went by, I finally got a chance to do second samples. My very first post with Ryan Block took five hours to edit. Five or six hours. It was like broken down per dollar. It's the, the least I've ever worked for outside of like pro bono work. We're it's paid just, per post. Yeah, so. we're paid per post. It's just, it was a horrible, horrible arrangement going that slowly. And I remember my wife, she was like, what are you doing? This is a total waste of your time. This is like almost a full work day on one, on one article. That, and I, and I, but I knew it at the time. I said, it takes this long now, but if I stick with it, I can tell that this is the kind of person that will teach me to do the things that I need to get faster. Yeah. And eventually, the ties will turn and it will be financially smart to do this. Right now, it is not at all. So we're gonna be taking a loss for a very long time until we get it. And it took me about six months before I was able to publish a post onto a publication without any edits, without any uh, pre-approvals or anything like that. But um, we but talk that, about that later too. But yeah, that's how it, I started. I mean, it, 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 oh, yeah. really, it really began uh, with just reading. And that's, that's what I wanted to touch on next. When I talk to people that want to get into blogging, that want to get into writing, usually they'll say, who do I talk to? Where do I go? But really, before you write, I just encourage people to read. Yes. Yeah. It, it's like so much of becoming a writer and a blogger is a first about reading what is out there, reading what is good, and gravitating towards something that you love. Mm -hmm. That's where you need to go. You almost answer your own question because what do you put time into each day reading? If it's sports, you're probably going to be a halfway decent sports writer. Right. If it's cooking, you'll probably cover that beat pretty well. For all of us, it ended up being technology. And the passion about technology paved the road to become a good blogger. 